basic AutoCAD for 21st century learners tutorials. The following videos are open to anyone at any level. Maybe CAD enthusiasts, would be CAD operators, or even novice users. You may use this as your guide in discovering or exploring AutoCAD as software as tool in developing your CAD projects. Introduction to CAD and AutoCAD software, some of the basic draw commands, as well as modify commands are comprehensively discussed in the presentation. You can play and pause the videos to furtherly understand the lesson. And don't forget to perform the task relevant to the lessons which will be shown after every video tutorial. This would be supplementary activities in enhancing and mastering your skills. Allow me to introduce you in CAD operation, most especially in using AutoCAD as software in starting and creating your design, is the content of the lesson one of the video tutorials. It mainly talks about what is CAD and its role in the design industry, overview about AutoCAD as software that includes brief history, the pros and cons in using the software, its AutoCAD graphics window or the interface, its special keys, the status bar toggles, and its function keys, the AutoCAD coordinate systems applying line command as well. Sometimes, it's difficult going to a place without having a background, its location, streets, important markings, and etc. In this video, I'm talking about AutoCAD graphics window or the interface. That, in using this software, we need to familiarize the following locations and buttons where to go to minimize questions in mind in troubleshooting or solving drawing problems using this software. The version of AutoCAD that's used in this video ay 2016 na kung saan halos lahat ng features ay halintulad sa mga dating version na ilinabas o maging sa mga bagong version nito. Maging ang kanyang graphics window o ang tinatawag nating user interface ay masasabing halos magkaparehas lamang. Mangyari lamang na pindutin ang kanang button ng mouse habang ito ay nakatutok sa AutoCAD software. Or, if not, you can double-click this AutoCAD software to open it. When you first start the drawing, we have the Start tab. There is Learn page. Sa ibaba nito, which contains list of videos. Balik tayo sa Create. If you will observe, the setting is enabled because it is connected to the internet connection. But if not, ito ang makikita natin in our screen after opening. Kita pa rin ang notifications pane saying that we are not connected to any Wi-Fi or internet connection to access online services or even save our works in the cloud or can send feedbacks using this connect pane. You can see your previously opened document in this area or you can pick open files to open your existing document. Open a sheet set, get more templates online and explore sample drawings are the options that can be considered and explored depending on your needs. If you want another sheet or document for your new project, just pick this button, start drawing or prior to opening new file, you can choose template you want to use in your drawing or project using this flyout. Select Start Drawing button to create drawing from scratch. As we move the mouse, the intersecting two lines or called as crosshair cursor is also moving. It serves as the pointer in the drawing space. At the lower left of the interface, we have the UCS icon showing the X and Y axis. You can pick it and move to other location in your drawing space to change its origin. Press escape key to enable the selection. Moving to the top left of the screen, ay tinatawag natin itong application menu. Ipinapakita sa button na ito ang mga commands like opening, saving, printing, drawing utilities, and other non-drawing tools. While we hover over the command, on the right hand pane, ay makikita natin ang contextual commands that you might want to use. Meron tayo nitong search bar na kung saan maaaring hanapin ang gusto mong command if you don't know where to locate in the interface. Say, you've heard the command rectangle. Type the command rectangle. You may click to activate it or 
you will see the information saying the location of the command in the interface. That's it's in the ribbon tab home, draw panel, rectangle drop down flyout. Let's see if we find it. Ito ang tinatawag nating ribbon. And the ribbon has many tabs, the home, insert, annotate, parametric, and others. And in every tab, ay may kanya-kanyang panels, the draw, modify, annotate, and etc. But kanina, sinabi na to locate a rectangle, go to home tab at puntahan ang draw panel and look for the rectangle command using this drop-down flyout. If you hold the cursor over the command, makikita natin ang tooltip na magbibigay ng impormasyon tungkol sa command. Some panels can be expanded as shown in this video. Click lamang ang arrow pointing downward o ang flyout to see more commands relating to the panels category. Maraming tabs in the ribbon. Ang iba ay may mga drop down where you can explore and examine other tools. You can also rearrange the ribbon gamit ang workspaces. Puntahan lamang ang workspace switching icon at the lower right of the interface. Click this drop down and choose the workspace you want which depends on your purpose. Sabihin natin 3D Basics Workspace. It changes the contents of the ribbon that is relevant in basic 3D modeling. Let's go back to the previous workspace which is drafting and annotation gamat ulit ang workspace switching. Sa pagpapatuloy sa parting taas ng interface ay mayroon tayong tinatawag na Quick Access Toolbar at ito ay may common commands. The New, Open, Save, Save As, Plot, redo and the undo at pwedeng magdagdag o magbawas ng command in the list gamit itong drop down let's add workspace in the quick access toolbar that can be used to switch the workspace without going below of the interface this area can be used to search using help system just type keyword or phrases you can also sign in in your account in a360 this is used to access apps that work within AutoCAD to extend the functionality of the program. Over here, this can be used to access with the Autodesk online community. At ito naman ay link to the help system. Sa parte nito, ito ay ang ating standard Windows controls for the entire application and the corresponding setup Windows controls for the current drawing. Ang napakalaking area in this interface ay tinatawag nating drawing area or space o maaari ring tawaging working area or space where you create your drawing. Tinatawag natin itong view cube na tutulungan tayo to navigate in three-dimensional space. The navigation bar that contains the list of navigation commands used both in 2D and 3D work. These are the in-canvas controls and they are actually menus that you can open by clicking the word. You can also right click to open the context menu that the information displayed in this menu depends upon the context in which you're clicking. If you right click over here, makakakuha ng ibang menu and if you right click over here, it's different. You see, it is context sensitive. Ito ay tinatawag natin command line or bar. If you type in the command bar, such as line, you will see that autocomplete will sort through an alphabetical list of commands, which can save me a few letters of typing. You can click on this to execute the command, and now it's running. Sa command bar, ay makikita natin ang prompt or options na hindi na muna natin pag-uusapan ang tungkol sa command na ito. So let's try canceling this by pressing escape. Sa baba ng ating command line, we have the model and layout tabs. Let's click Layout 1 to go to this virtual sheet of paper where we lay out drawing for plotting. You can hover the cursor over the file tab to go to different layouts o bumalik sa drawing space. Alternatively, you can use this to do the same thing. Equally important ay mayroon tayong tinatawag ni status bar toggles. On kung ito ay highlighted with color blue and off if it's gray. In each status bar toggle ay mayroong iba't ibang menus. 
you can access that by right clicking. Maaari ring magdagdag at magbawas ng items from this menu. Gamit itong right most button na tinatawag na customization. At maaaring piliin ito by clicking the menus. You see that, when I click this menu, sa baba ay manadaragdag na elements in the status bar. So that's how we conclude our tour in the interface of AutoCAD 2016. Sana ay maalala natin kung saan maaaring pumunta just in case may kailangan tayong commands o kailangan i-troubleshoot na situation in the process of using this software. Thank <music> you.